Okay, I'm Colin Susi. I'm captain on the Ford Tri-Motor, and the aircraft is owned by the Experimental Aircraft Association. It's a 1929 Ford Tri-Motor. The uh, airplane belongs to a museum, and to raise money and support it and keep it going, we take it to cities. Uh, every weekend all summer we go to different cities and uh, hop rides, and uh, we manage to make enough money by using all volunteer right. pilots and ground people that uh, to keep the airplane going, and that way the public gets to see it and to experience the joys of 1929 aviation. Sounds and sights, and also a little bit of smells, but the mainly sounds of the engines, the old round engines running, and the sights. This airplane has huge picture windows, panoramic windows, compared to a modern jet. You can see everything out the window on the countryside. It also has very large, comfortable leather seats, like first class. So it's just a great ride for the passengers. And uh, this week we're flying over downtown Cincinnati, get a good view of downtown, the stadium, and the river. And the passengers have gone so far today, just love it. Just like Southwest, pick any seat you want to. Okay. Pick your seat. Pick your seat. Tony and I, it was made by the Ford Motor Company, the same people making automobiles today, up in uh, Dearborn, Michigan. And it made 199 of these. This is serial number 69. This one has a few newer, more modern parts. As time has gone by, it's harder to uh, replace some parts. Like the brakes have been updated. It's got disc brakes instead of the old drum and shoe brakes. Um, and the engines, it's supposed to have 300 horsepower right engines. Those are no longer available. So we have Pratt & Whitney engines that are a lot more available and reliable. American manufactured airplane where the passengers sat indoors instead of outdoors in an open cockpit airplane and uh, also had a high wing and it was also made of metal which were all huge improvements over the old fabric covered biplanes and uh, actually had a little bit of heat in the winter which made a big deal for the passengers and uh, it also because of the uh, range, the speed and the fact the passengers and the pilots were inside you could actually use the airplane in most weather conditions and fly daytime and nighttime so it allowed the airlines to start. This is the first airplane for most of the airlines in this country. Uh, put it this way, all the bugs are out of it. It's been flying since 29 and um, I really enjoy flying. I wouldn't do it if it wasn't safe. Uh, we know of eight that can fly. There's more than that in museums, but they can't fly. There's only three that basically fly once a year. This is the only one that flies every day. Uh, this particular airplane was in a Jerry Lewis movie called The Family Jewels. And another, its sister ship was in a movie five or six years ago, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. It was a sister ship in it. When I fly cross country, I only fly a thousand feet off the ground when I go from here to Michigan, say. And uh, you can see farmers walking in their driveways and they just stop and look up like they never look at another airplane before. And you can see them, they do a double take when they see the airplane. And I haven't seen one of those in 70 years. And they point and they run and go grab their wife or kids and come back out. And we're slow enough, we can see them running and come back out. Uh, we take nine, uh, nine people in the back. Uh, it's a great ride. We're up in the air like uh, 10 to 12 minutes over downtown and people just really love it. Uh, we also have a co-pilot seat available. We sell that also. It's $100 instead of the $50 for the seats in the back.